Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will share with you how you can move your blog or website away from Google Sandbox. Many of you guys are in blogging are struggling because you might not have known that your blog may still be in Google Sandbox. And I will share with you what Google Sandbox is all about and how it affects your growth and your earnings in your blog. So watch this video to the end because I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of um, achieving this growth by moving your blog away from the Google Sandbox uh, area. Before we proceed, if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and like it. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so that you always get notified whenever you post a new update. So as a blogger, you might have been encountering, you know, um, challenges in the area of your revenue increasing. And this may be as a result of the fact that your blog may be in Google Sandbox and you may not know. So first of all, what is Google Sandbox? When your blog is in Google Sandbox, it means that Google is unable to send traffic to your blog. Even though you might be indexing, your post might be indexing, and you may be ranking for certain keywords on the uh, Google search engine. So, but Google itself is unable to send traffic to those um, posts of yours that are ranking on the search engine. So in order for you to conquer this, you have to uh, move your blog away from Google Sandbox. Yeah, so first of all, uh, let me show you how you can check whether your blog or your website is in Google Sandbox. There is a tool known as Google Sandbox Checker tool. So this tool helps you to check uh, if your site is among those ones that are in Google Sandbox. All right, so first of all, I will visit the tool. The website URL for the tool is searchenginejourney.com. Don't worry, I will drop the link at the end of this video. So watch this video to the end. All right, so uh, when you enter into the Google Sandbox Checker tool, this is it. You can see the highlighted area. You have to enter your website or blog link or domain name here. So I will enter this here. Then you have to enter some of the keywords or uh, phrases that you want to check for your blog, as in the major keywords that your blog is ranking for or that your blog is focused on. Okay. So I will type this here. Now, once you are done, the next is there is a capture uh, security question here that you can enter the result. You can see this is 9 plus 6. This varies actually. So whatever it gives you as a capture uh, mass question, you can just um, go ahead to answer it. So the answer to this is 15. This is just to make sure that you are not a bot, that you are a human trying to check this um, particular state of your blog. Okay, so next you click on Submit. Then can you see checking? It will is, it is show checking site with the blog you are checking or the site name that you have entered or your own domain name. Okay, so can you see the result has come up? Your site is in Google Sandbox. So this means that being in the sandbox hinders your growth as a blogger because you will be underperforming and under earning, you know, in spite of all your efforts and uh, or what have you that you have put into your blog. So there are a couple of factors that can contribute to you being the, in the Google sandbox. One is the age of your domain. Yes, so um, the age of your domain matters a lot. In fact, if you want to check the age of your domain or the particular website, you can go ahead to duplichecker, duplichecker.com. Then there is a domain age checker there. You can go ahead to type um, your domain name here. Make sure you enter HTTPS then uh, with the double stroke before your domain name. So you can use this to check your domain name or you can probably check with your maybe domain registrar to be sure. So that's the first thing that um, you know contributes to this. Now, if it is not caused by your domain age being uh, too 
you know, your your the, the your domain being a new domain or being too new, then you also have to look at the major structure or user interface changes you have performed on your site over time. Yeah, like changing of teams severally is not good. You know, changing teams multiple times is not too wonderful. So it's good that before you launch out, at least you should be able to um, have a predetermined team. Even if you must change team, let it not be too often. Because sometimes your team can put you in trouble as a blogger. Yes, it can. Depending on the kind of teams you are using. And also, making use of Nord teams. What are Nord teams? Nord teams are those uh, GPL teams you know, out there that you can get free online. So it's like cracked version of uh, premium teams. So sometimes they, they are harmful to your blog because they inject some malicious codes to your blog that you may not have uh, anticipated. And when the Google Crawler or Google Spider encounter some of these malicious codes and uh, stuff like that, it tends to like flag your blog by putting it in, the, in its uh, sandbox area. And by it being in sandbox area, You'll, be, you'll not be getting quality traffic as you should. Yeah, even though you may be ranking, sometimes you may not even be ranking and you'll be uh, stagnant in your growth for your blog. So that's the second thing that contributes to this. So then the next is UI. For instance, if you come to your blog, your user interface, you have UI, UX. UI is a user interface. So the interface or structure of your blog matters. So for instance, uh, Depending on your niche, uh, anyway. For example, you can see this. Um, this is like a three-column section here. This is a sidebar with an ad here. Then, when you scroll down, you can see this is well structured. You see on that three-column with another. Uh, the sidebar continues from here. So, but in some people's blog, you cannot really, as a navigation there is like a tug of war. So you have to really make sure that your blog. Uh, UI and uh, in fact the overall structure of your blog makes sense and it is easily navigatable by the uh, Google crawler and Google spider. Okay, then the third reason why you may be in sandbox is that you may have more duplicate contents. So what do I mean? For instance, if you are busy paraphrasing and uh, spinning articles using Spinbot, Squarebot and Co., and even paraphrasers, the chances are that your article or your contents have lost value. And the more your articles and contents lose value, the more you are losing uh, relevance on the Google search engine. So you need to take your blog serious by making sure that you produce and create valuable, high-quality SEO-optimized contents. So in blogging, content is king and will continue to be king in all ramifications at, and at all times. Mm -hmm. And by content, I mean valuable content that is either addressing a pain point, solving a particular problem, or answering some questions that are bothering you know, your visitor. So your blog has to really be valuable in the real sense of it. So anything you will do to avoid duplicate content is, is good you do it. Yes, and one downside of spinning, like I said earlier, is that as you are spinning a particular content wherever you are, another person in another part of the world is spinning the same content. So you might even check its plagiarism uh, score. It may show you 100% plagiarism free. But trust me, if the other person who is in another part of the world, who is doing the same spinning you are doing with the same article or from the same source, if the person's post gets ranked before you, you have posted and the person has posted, but if the person is indexed before you, <laughs> yours will turn to plagiarized content. So these are the dangers of spinning articles and paraphrasing contents, which uh, you as a blogger should avoid at all costs because it's like a plague. It, it, it hinders your growth in a, in, a, in a massive way. Okay, now the fourth thing that makes people to enter into sandbox without knowing is, if your content is um, considered a spammy content. Yeah, so for instance, if you go about spamming, you know, uh, forums, other blogs, other platforms with, uh, you know, repeated or duplicate content, it doesn't make sense. 
it's not good so this will make google to move you to sandbox now you have to understand that sandbox is like a probation area something like that so google doesn't take um platforms as some websites or blogs in sandbox too serious so if you really want to really build a business out of um, your blog i'll show you what to do to come out of sandbox even though you are even if you are there already then if you are not there already, I will show you equally what you can do to not to even enter there because it's not a good place to be at any point in time. Yes. You can imagine that's why sometimes some people may even be getting traffic, but you know, they will end up earning less to nothing. Why? Because Google doesn't trust them. And remember, your CPC, your uh, RPM, your whatever metrics you are getting, the dominant factor, they 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 the boss or the referee who determines whether a goal is a goal in a football match, for example, you know, is the one that calls the shot. So, Google is dominant, uh, uh, is dominant boss that determines whatever you are getting from your blog earnings. So, if you are not taken seriously by Google, it, it's, it's not a good place to be. Yeah. So, you need to do everything to make sure that the, in the eyes of the search engines, that your blog is seen as a uh, a reputable one and one that really uh, add value to the world and that really provides a solution to one or two problems. Okay, now next is um, if you engage in black hat methods or actions like backlinking from spammy sites. Yes, this is why you should be more careful with getting backlinks or buying backlinks from some platforms. Like some of you guys go to Canva and uh, pay $5 or $10 in fact, with, with as little as 5 or 10 dollars, you can get your DA to a certain uh, number, to even 50 or even 70 or even more than that. So some of you guys do that. You don't know that you are harming your site because you, you, you are like stamping your position in the Google sandbox. So I'm not saying that buying backlinks or paying someone on any freelancing platform is not good, but make sure that your source the source from where you are buying those things, if you must buy, you know, is genuine and that they are not giving you spammy backlinks and that they are not equally using a black hat method to uh, give you those backlinks. For me, actually, you can get backlinks naturally if you do the right things in blogging. And also you can build backlinks by yourself. Yeah, so um, I have a blueprint for that. So if you need it, I will leave my contact, my WhatsApp contact in the description of this video. So while you watch this video to end, after it, uh, you can hit me up on WhatsApp via my contact, then I will, I will share that with you. So how you can be able to build backlinks from high authority websites and uh, gain the dominance and the authority that you need so that you can find favor in the site of the Google search console and the Google search engine as a whole. Okay, next, I'll, I want to show you two steps to resolve your uh, being in sandbox and how you can start getting quality results in your blog. Yeah, so first of all, you should make sure that you continue to post content, that you are in Google Sandbox is not the end of the world. So it's, it's actually a challenge that you can overcome easily if you do the right thing. So first thing is, Continue to post valuable and high uh, quality contents on your blog. Then, secondly, make sure that your contents are added to your sitemap. And um, as a blogger, you should have your sitemap always connected to your search console. Yeah, I think I have a video on this channel on that, how you can connect your blog to uh, your sitemap to your uh, search console. So you can search for it within this um, channel and uh, follow it. That's if you have not done so anyway. Then make sure that you get traffic from other sources. Yes, from relevant sources. Uh, write great contents and share it on places like Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. Then know that why you are doing this is that social traffic can help you to generate user signals, which Google can pick up on. Now, remember that the same way Google cross your blog or your website, it's the same way it crosses those of uh, these other bigger platforms, blogs and social sites like Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Quora, and Co. So 
when it is scrolling them and it encounters your post there with backlinks to your own blog, you know, it really helps to send a valuable signal to Google that this um, this particular blog that is in sandbox is due to be um, relieved of that sandbox status and be placed in a proper and a better um, place. So don't joke with uh, having your contents being shared on these um, platforms out there. Next is don't spam your content on these platforms. Yeah, for instance, make sure that before you post your blog link on any of these platforms, uh, Facebook, Reddit, Quora, Twitter, Medium, and Co., that you have written spam, uh, valuable content, then you backlink it to your own uh, blog. Because Google equally reads what you have written there and reads what you have written in your own blog. So if you are spamming those um, platforms with your content, it, it will really hinder your growth. So make sure you don't spam. Play by the rules. Do the right things. And you always get the best results. So guys, that is how you can be able to know how to um, move out of Google Sandbox if your blog is already in Google Sandbox. And steps you can take to be able to resolve it and uh, restore your dominance and your growth. Note that, like I said earlier, Google Sandbox is a phase, like uh, most blogs out there that are doing well have passed through that phase and uh, they overcame. So you too, you equally overcome by doing the right things and following the steps that I've shared with you in this video. So if you have any question or comment, you can drop it in the comment section of this video. Meanwhile, my contact will be in the description of this video too. So if you need my assistance uh, in any way to scale your income and uh, help you to generate more revenue for your blog or increase your CPC, you can reach out to me via my WhatsApp contact in the description. Also, uh, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly click on subscribe uh, button below. Then you can also join our family by clicking on the Telegram link in the description of this video too. Also, uh, smash on the like button on this video and turn on the notification bell icon so that you always get notified whenever we post a new update or content. All right, guys. So uh, till we come your way again with another wonderful and value-packed uh, content, uh, keep winning to your continued success. We are rooting for you. You are a legend. Thank you.